Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And Unity have just released a brand new game sample called Happy Harvest. And this is a fully featured project which actually gives you some advanced looks on ways to tackle 2D issues that you'll find. And it uses Unity 2022 and above. And it's a farming based little simulator game. It has everything from menus to inventory systems to having a 2D character controller, controlling all the lighting, creating a day and night cycle. And it has a lot of different articles and videos to help you with it too. It's got a full blog page showing you exactly what's going on within the systems and the way that they tackled specific issues. And I'll put all the links down in the description to all the stuff that you can read about it. So do be sure to check out my Patreon to also get access to over 195 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Check out all the links in the description for the best sales, savings and everything you can find in game dev. Now I'm going to give you a basic rundown of the actions and the things that happen in the game as if you were playing it as a real title and then we'll look at the full project itself. So it uses the UI toolkit to actually start off with this main menu. You press start and it will actually load you into the basic scene. You can use WASD to move your little character around. It's got all different particle effects. It's got an ability to have the character to look at the mouse area. We've got an inventory down at the bottom, which you can select individual tiles or use keys to flip between them. And you can plant, collect and water. You've got different things in here, like loads of particle effects, all the lighting that you see in here and all their custom objects, which this project is free to use any asset you want in your own commercial projects. So it's free for you to use. Then it's got a basic systems to be able to transition to scenes. And you can see now I'm outside. We've got all the sound effects in here and all the quirky little interesting things like the lights and the cool fireflies and all the effects from here. And you can see if we select the basket, you can collect resources, which is this wheat here. You can use your farming tool to till the ground and you can then select seeds to be able to plant them in the area. Select the watering can and water specific patches of the ground with all the animations that come with it. You can actually still collect other items and you can see that it comes with all the animated characters and everything from there. And then even has a lot of different custom shaders along with the little special effects to make the bushes look more interesting and realistic and has the ability to buy and sell things at a little market. You can see this is suitable for Unity 2022.3 and it's suitable only for URP and it does talk about some warnings and all the announcements and details that you want on the store page. When you download and import this into Unity project, you may well need to make sure that you install and upgrade packages because it uses the 2D tile maps and input systems and a lot of stuff like that. And make sure you update and bring in all the additional assets that it needs in that dialog box and then make sure that you restart Unity when it prompts you and click import again when you get in there to import all the assets. And like I said, the entire package comes with art, audio, all the fonts, the manuals, the materials, prefabs and everything that you need. And it comes with a whole, whole host of different assets. And it comes with everything together with its animations, with the actual sprites and objects, whether it's a normal map or the mask map to create that 3D look of the characters, all the animations and everything that you need to work with it. You can go to the top and check out the readme, which is the select the volume window and you get all the information and manuals about talking about the entire project by looking at the introduction, looking at how they did the 2D lights and shadows, how to create art and gameplay and how to animate characters in this type of thing and how they created their special effects for these scenes using visual effects graph. Now I'm just going to go through sort of scene by scene so you can take a look at some of the stuff that's going on in here and I've got the main menu. I'm not really familiar with how a UI toolkit works but it has a UI document which has the panel settings, which you can set the resolution and how it's going to appear. And then a script to the when the button is clicked and when an event is registered, you are fed the opacity and you load the scene as you would with scene manager. Then it launches a little loader scene, which has a game manager object, which controls what the market will be, what the time of day is and the start duration and what databases you have for the items that you have or the crops that you can grow at any time. Then it will spawn you into the house interior, 
with all the things for the exit trigger to be able to transition to scenes where the spawn points will be all the assets that are in here so you can drop these down and take a look at all the sprites and as I say you can use these in all your projects for free. It's got a sound manager which controls how to look at the audio. It's got the day to night handler with the day and light, night and otherwise. It's got all the scene data, the post processing and then the character object with its starting inventory. All the player input actions, the speed and everything that you'll need to take a look at how they've handled working with this character. Then if you do walk outside, you will see the entire environment of the outside area. Now I'll turn off gizmos because it gets in the way a little bit and you will see that the vast majority is made on a grid which is controlled by this terrain manager and this actually uses the 2D and the tile 2D system to be able to use the tiles to create the actual scene to be able to break it up and they do have a full tutorial and breakdown on how the tile system works along with how to use the new system. So it's broken down into water tiles, ground, elevated objects, crops, the different layers, the warehouse and more different objects as the same things as what you would expect in the house but we have a weather system which controls what we need we've, we've got some different examples of visual effects for the leaves that you see that appear when you interact with the bushes ways to make it look like that it's a little bit windy in the scene all the different sound effects laid out it also comes with cool little examples of how to do light shafts looking at the 2d and ambient light to create the idea of how the light should work in different lighting scenarios the volume again for post-processing it does use the virtual machine camera to follow around the player all the scripts which make up everything that works whether that's weather the triggers rendering day to night cycle all the crops and things like the inventory system to be able to check if the item can fit, fit the maximum amount and get the indexes of everything and use it and just mess around. So I think it's a cool little project to check out and I'll put all the links down in the description for you to check it out and it might be really useful for you to get some ideas of how to integrate certain features in your 2D game. So do be sure to check out my Patreon to also get access to over 195 different scripts assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Check out all the links in the description for the best sales, savings and everything you can find in game dev. Do check out all my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and massive savings on my website. So a big thank you to all my patrons including Peter Steiner and Mike Cullen for their amazing support and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.